Yo, what's up? So, today we have a pretty dope video for those wanting to make um, custom maps and such for not for Skate, <laughs> but for Skater XL. And they want to use, you know, they want to recreate and use uh, Skate 3 textures, right? So that's what I'm going to show you how to get today is the Skate 3 textures from the levels. So yeah, um, so let's uh, let's do this. So when you have the game and you have it unpacked with, um, like, if you have an ISO or ISO, um, unpack it with an Xbox 360 ISO unpacker so that you have the raw files that look like this. You will have a default.xex. You'll have um, a data folder, and you'll have an XCR, I guess. You won't have much more than that. <laughs> but what you can do is, though, is you can re uh, create a folder called output in here for now. And then also download and put the quick BMS folder um, in here with my, uh, my scripts and with Aloigi scripts and such. Um, also download Noesis. The, the latest version that I will put in the description. Um, so yeah, let's uh, let's get started. So when you have them looking like this, what you want to do is you want to go to Quick BMS and hit uh, Quick BMS 4GB files.exe. Go to scripts and then go to skate three uh, dot big uh, or skate three big dot BMS. Double click it and then go out and into the data folder. Go into the content folder and unpack one of these world districts. So this time what I'm going to do is I'm going to unpack the uh, industrial district. The entire industrial district. <laughs> so I'm going to hit open on that. And then in here, in this folder where we have the big files, I am going to create a folder that I call... Um, Extracted, sorry, extracted, like that, and then, um, that, I don't know if that makes sense, if I want to do that, actually, no, I don't want to do that, fuck that, so, uh, what, what you want to do, though, is, um, well, yeah, yeah, do that. Okay. And then hit save in the extracted folder. And then save all these files in there. I was think what I was thinking about was if I was going to put these files in the output folder, but these aren't really the files we're looking for. They are, but uh we're also going to open up these packages, the XSF files. So, uh just put these in here for now. Holy shit. It's done. Okay, that's pretty dope. <laughs> that was quick. So, now when we have them extracted, you want to open up Quick BMS again. Uh, and make sure you have the output folder here now in the root folder. Open up Quick BMS and load a script up here. The script that you want to load is going to be called Skate3. Uh, XSF 0.3 or 0.3.1 if you download it off of the um, uh, Aloigi's um, Zen Hacks website. So yeah, just hit open and then go back to the root folder and go to data, content, and then go to the extracted folder. Go to data, content, world, stream, uh, dist industrial or district industrial, and then you want to scroll down. So these C press files, they're model files. They contain 3D models and MIP maps. Uh, and then the C sim files, they contain collision data. So where you can walk, where you can ride, all that. Okay. And then last but not least, we have the C text. And C text is just textures. So what we do is we highlight all these C text and then we hit open and then we need to make an output folder. 
and that's what we already made. So what we do is we go back to the root folder here, go to output, and hit save. And what it's going to do now is it's going to save all these files. And when you get one of these errors, it's going to say the following output file already exists. What you do is don't say overwrite, because it in many cases it's actually a new file. It has to do with the name. Um, the name is a little bit too shortened, so sometimes you get uh, <laughs> you know duplicate names. But yeah, so hit R so that it automatically renames the file, um, and then just hit OK or Enter, and then it's going to rename the files that it needs to rename and just export the other files. Okay, so yeah, just wait here. So I'm just going to eat my little potato chips. Mm. <laughs> oh my god. Hell yeah. And just wait for this thing. It just, I don't know how long this is going to take. I haven't done this since like yesterday. I, I can't remember. <laughs> so, we'll see. I think it was pretty quick though. I mean, it's, it's I, I think it's going to be over in like a couple seconds here. Yeah. Like that. Okay. So all you do now is hit enter. Or exit out. Whatever you want to do. Then you go back to the root folder and go into the output folder. Now you're going to have a shit ton of items. Depending on which one you unpacked, you're going to have more or less <laughs> texture files. Uh, right here we have over 5,000 textures. Okay? It's insane, I know. So what we want to do to open these RX2 files is as normal, just like all the other RX2 files, because uh, now these are also uh, decompressed, so we can open them. So, you want to go to the, into Noesis and find this folder and load up the files. So, I'm going to do that right now. Boom. Okay, we have the files. And, uh, so yeah, just make sure you have Noesis with my scripts that can open up these files. And uh, all you do now is you click on the file that you want to load. And it will show you... So some of the files only about one percent will not work sadly um, but the absolute majority of these files as you can see work just fine you can't see everything here we go okay so as you can see they work the ones that don't work they are of a, another format that I am trying to decipher at the moment um, but man, that's it's difficult. So uh, I'll update. I'll update the scripts whenever I can and whenever it's done. But as you can see, the absolute majority of these files work just fine. Um, man, just look at this. This is awesome. Oh yeah, look at that. <laughs> that's so dope. Okay, yeah, there was there's another one. Man. Yeah, these so these are some really good textures that you just you can use for anything you want. Custom maps for Skater XL or whatever you want. Um So yeah. That's about it. Um that's how you get the level textures. So if you want to do it for another map, all you have to do is unpack the big file and unpack the XSF file and open it up with Noesis. And you'll have the, uh, the textures here. So um, thank you for watching. Uh, it means a lot. And uh, I'm glad that I can help out and get us you know, all these textures. Um, and many thanks to uh, Aluigi for providing the uh, XSF file unpacking script. Um, it means a lot. Um, it really does. So thank you guys for stopping by and um, peace out.